Hello. Um, as a few of you might know, I have started into analog photography. The reason for that being is uh, that my grandfather had an old uh, Revuflex SD1 SLR lying around, and um, <clears throat> well, I just uh, photographed around with it a little bit, experimented, and um, I found it's a very valuable camera. I liked it really much. It makes perfect pictures and uh, well I see no reason why I should not uh, use it any longer and um, well that's why I kept it and uh, continued with uh, film photography also because it's rather cheap and um, well if there has to be a camera that is as light and as practicable and as simple as that Revuflex um, to come still so I just keep with that and uh, I like it a lot. Now, through conversation, I uh, found a couple of relatives who had an old uh, roll, film, roll film camera lying around and uh, they offered it to me and well, of course I said yes, I wanted to have it and um, that's how I got round to three roll film cameras and um, I'm excited to share these with you. Alright, these are the cameras that I have. Um, on the right is the Revuflex SD1, which started the whole thing about film photography and um, it still is a great camera. It has all the necessary components on it that you need for taking a picture and uh, it does make extremely well pictures. So um, I have three lenses, a 35mm wide angle, 50mm and a 135mm tele. And that's all I need really, that's the set I'm taking with me uh, on every tour and that's all I need, that's what gets me every picture. So this is my perfect set for me, the perfect set to have when you take pictures of many different situations. There hasn't been a single situation where I wasn't able to take the picture with this camera. So I love this camera and I always love it. Now coming to the roll film compartment. We have on the very right a rolly cord from a friend of my gr uh, grandmother. Uh, it's a twin lens reflex camera and it's a poor man's version of the rolly flexes of this time. The difference being is that there's a knob here to uh, wind the film on to the next frame and you have to cock the shutter separately. Um, and the Rolly Flexes had a crank here to wind on to the next fr uh, frame um, and cock the shutter in one in one operation. Also the lens is not as fast or apertured. This is f4.5. Uh, some Rollies had f2.8 or even more but still it makes exceptional pictures because of the large size of the negative. It's 6 by 6 centimeters and um, yes, also because you can uh, sharpen your image, you can see exactly what the lens is seeing and uh, thereby get perfect focus every time. And um, yeah, it's very nicely built quality. It's built around 1936, maybe earlier. And um, yeah, it's a very nice camera, although it's a little bit too bulky to carry around on the strap so you really have to keep uh, a case with a handle on it to not have it dangle around everywhere. Um, which brings us to the second camera which this is and it's a very compact camera as you can see it flaps out and it shoots an even larger negative it shoots 9 by 6 and um, the disadvantage being that there are then only uh, eight shots getting onto one roll of film, but still it has very many settings here. This one has more settings for the shutter speed, so this has from three hundredths of a second to one second. And this just has a twenty-fifth, a fiftieth, and a hundredth of a second bulb mode and T mode, and um, all the apertures from f four point five down to f twenty-two. But um, I prefer this camera from this. This is still a great camera, nothing saying against this, but this is better to carry around. It has a strap on the top which you can put your hand into and it fits into every uh, uh, pocket of your trousers because it can be folded down that, that easy. 
and it produces very nice pictures and the advantage here being is that it's a rectangular not a square format and um, well that's it's a little bit more versatile and um, this is my camera that I usually use and for special occasions it would be this one here and the final camera this here by the way is a light meter which you have to take with you when you want to take a shot to adjust the um, light situation and get perfect exposure and this here is from my grand uncle a camera which is also a folding camera which folds up like this and it shoots 6x6 format and um, it also makes very good pictures it has only four settings two for the aperture f11 and f6.3 and a 25th and a 75th of a second and um, well it's also a very good camera adjustable focus and it's a very simple camera as well there are no electronics nothing that controls anything on here all has to be done by yourself so I will now um, present a slideshow of a couple of pictures that I shot with these cameras I hope you liked it and um, thank you very much for watching bye bye